Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Active Pieces, a business automation tool, in Docker. To get started, connect to the device where we're going to run Docker. We'll start by installing a few prerequisite packages required to run Docker. Next, we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. Now using apt install, we'll install Docker, Docker Compose, and Containerd. With the Docker packages installed, we'll make sure the Docker service is started and enabled. Add the current user to the Docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. Now we're ready to start creating containers. We'll start by creating working directories for our containers to use. Then clone the latest release of active pieces from GitHub. We'll change directory to our working directory. We'll execute deploy.sh to create a .m file. Then edit the .m template in nano. Using the video description as a guide, update the values in the .m file to configure the database and host information. We'll save the changes to .env, then close out of nano. Now we're ready to use the docker build command to create an active pieces docker image. Once docker build completes, we can run docker image ls to list out the images on our device. We should see our newly built active pieces image in the list. Now that our image is built, we're ready to run active pieces. We'll start by creating a Postgres database container using the docker run command. Then we'll start a Redis container. And finally, we'll start a container using the active pieces image we just built. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the docker host, colon 8990. Complete the form with a first name, last name, email, and password, then click sign up. Welcome to Active Pieces, running containerized in Docker.